Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. See you in the next video. We hope you'll come back tomorrow. We stayed at the resort with these two. We're at Universal still. We still at Universal. Breakfast. Breakfast. Okay, so we're here at 8 o'clock, and this is the line situation. The park doesn't open until 9. So Megan and Katie did this Friday. Friday. Friday morning. And so what we'll do is we'll go in at 8.30, move to Seuss Landing. 845? 845 they let you into the queue at, in the Lost Continent. Okay. What's more exciting... And then at 9 they'll walk you to the Hagrid's queue. What's more exciting is my metal, my titanium rods in my back set off <laughs> the walkthrough metal detector, which has happened because when Disney got new ones, and I think these are the same models, a couple months ago I started setting them off. But when they went to go wand me down, because they have to wand me down afterwards, the wand was set off by my back, which has He's never like, happened I have before. rods. So like... <laughs> Is, are my rods like slowly creeping out or do they have like really, they have to have like really strong wands. I've never had that happen before. And I was like, I have rods and she's like, oh, okay. So it's, what time is it, 8.40? 8.35. 8.35, we got 10 more minutes. They stopped us right before Seuss. And it was awesome to see like all the guests like running. It's like we haven't seen that in like an attraction in years. So that was kind of fun. Now we're like a couple hundred people back from where we were. There was an issue with the family in front of us getting their tickets. But either way, as long as we're out within the first two hours I think, of the of park open, I think that's a success. So they'll stop us. They'll let us go through Swiss Landing in 10 minutes and they'll stop us in the Lost Continent. Right, that's what it's called, up? Lost Continent? Yeah. And then they'll set up the queue there. And they'll walk the queue in. Put some boots over here. What? So we're still walking through the queue. We're actually, spooky, spooky. We're actually in Sinbad. And the queue's just now it's getting a little bit more tame because now it's like two, three people apart. We still have to do a lot of digging. But it's nine o'clock and we can hear we can hear running. the attraction running. So hopefully that was there's not, not the a case delay. On Friday. Right. There was a what an hour delay the other day? An hour and a half. Look at this fancy creepy stage area. This is cool, but here's the turnaround. It gets, like I said, it gets way more like structured and sane. Our cool time lapse of like walking and stopping and walking and stopping failed pretty quickly because now we're just stopped. It's 9.30, ride's not open yet, but we feel good. Megan and Katie said it's not a terrible spot to be in. So we're gonna go live to eat up some time because we never went live yesterday. And then afterwards we'll enjoy relaxation, express passes and pools. Right? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, we're moving. We're moving. We're moving. And we're a group. <laughs> they said two and a half hour wait. And we are about to put our stuff in lockers and head into Hollywood. Oh, so creepy. Fighters. We're so close. We've been waiting like 45 minutes since we got in the queue. Here it is. Here we go. Here we go. It is finally time. We're about to go on. We're freaking out. Ah! What's going on is after. It is such a cool loading mechanism. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was fun. I like, I think that's my favorite ride. Yeah. I think it's better than, I think it's better than Hogwarts, the Forbidden Journey. Oh, 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 that was, listen, I would wait, I'd get back in line right now to wait another three hours for that. That was, oh. That was unbelievable.
All right, we'll talk about the ride more in a second in detail. But that was one of my favorite attractions of all time. We're about to go get more pumpkin fizz. And I think we're gonna go grab lunch over at Studios. I would wait, I'd wait four hours for that ride. I'd wait longer for that ride than Flight of Passage, for sure. All right, after three, four, four and a half hours of waiting and riding, two pumpkin fizzes and a bunch of waters before lunch. Oh yeah. I just took a power nap. Legitimately just took a nap on that 10 minutes. All the way even. to London, man. Right, but I legitimately fell asleep on that. And I feel so good now. Refreshed? Yeah. Ready for lunch? Yes. These guys just ended as we were walking up. We thought we were finally gonna get to see them perform. And again, for some lunch. This place is so up our alley. Here's the little menu. This is what we're gonna do. Beyond Burger Vegan Summer Pie. Do they have other sides? This looks so absolutely delicious. Apple butter and whipped butter. An Irish sort of homemade. Complimentary. But it's full of butter. They're gonna eat it for us. And it's gonna be delicious. Here's our side of potatoes there. Huge. There's our pie. Five Peter got fries too. It's got, got some extra here. little veggies on I'll the I'll cut side. this open so we can see it. Oh yeah! I'm gonna dip my fries in that. How was it? How was it? How was it? I'm nervous it's gonna be like really hot. Really? Yeah. It's good. So hot, but so good. I love the vibe of this place. I had not. Dublin, four thousand miles that way. 3,900 miles that way. So I have to say, Sarah and I split that, that Shepherdman's pie. Shepherdman. <laughs> Shepherd's pie. We each got our own fries with tip and waters. With tip, that was $30. That's r around the same price we pay for both of us to eat our own quick services at Casey's. Or even here. Or even or, here. You know, other places in Disney. And I like, think that was a good size because yeah. Shepherd's pie is like a unique dish where it's a kind of filling. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's Irish. <laughs> And they do that with the Beyond Meat. That was such a good, like I'd go back and for us to get that exact same meal. Yeah. Katie did not finish about a third of hers, <laughs> so I invited myself to finish it. So I'm feeling real good that I finished, that I ate all that. We're gonna go back to the hotel. Well, first we're gonna stop at Castle Nation so these girls can get their annual passes. Ooh. And we'll keep an eye out all Love for the you. different kinds yeah. of HHN signs. Like I think that fence over there is because they're setting up. Ooh. Apparently, it feels, I think my body's still like, Cool from being in the air conditioning so long. It doesn't good. feel really hot out right now, but there's like crazy heat, in, heat indexes all over the state. Yeah. But I think it's because we have an acclimated. Should we go on Rip Ride Rocket? Oh gosh, no. <laughs> no. All right, Jason. I've never seen it like that. Guess who got the fix, is gonna get to fix their finger so I don't have to use my silly thumb anymore. That's awesome. But, but what's, what's even, even better? more awesome is these two. No, no, not these two. These, these four. four. All of Swish and Flick. All four of the Swish and Flick girls are annual pass holders. Wow. Taste the feeling. We're finally in the lounge. We made it. We're real people. We're going to get our magnets. That's what we're in line for. The pop is yet to purchase it, but it's still a nice air conditioning place to go. Yeah, and there's a cool machine, I think, that can make everything work. Like oh, a it's slush. slushy? Yeah. This is all got. It's actually like really super, super cute. Should we put it on the car? Alright, we're back on a boat to head back to the hotel to hang out and relax and recharge. Switching the phone real quick because we're going to the pool. Uh -huh. The girls are going to relax upstairs. We're going to relax in the pool. It's 3.30. 3.30 but it feels like 9pm. <laughs> yeah. Um, I brought my mom up if we want to get like a fancy drink poolside. Ooh. I know the way to leave my girl's heart. <laughs> fancy drinks by the pool. It's very hot and the pool is busy, so we'll, we'll see what's going on. Let's show you around. Wow. What? I'm gonna go through that. Wow. Oh, so we made it up to the island. And it's like, the sign said max temperature of the water could be up to 104, but it is like perfect. It's probably like, what do you think, like 87, 90? Yeah, it's, it's like 
it's just not too warm to be like backwater. And it's because of this island here, we got some shady part of the pool that we can hang out in. Yeah. While we just relax. Mm -hmm. But we've been in the water maybe 15 minutes tops. Mm -hmm. But there's lightning in the area, so we have to get out of the water. At least I think I think they're gonna allow us to stay in the sandy area, so we can at least lay down and relax. Should we go see the bar? All right, here we are at the Bula Bar and Grill. We're gonna check out some drinks and see what's going on. Um, do they really? I'm like, I just want to eat because I'm on vacation mode. I'm not, I'm like full, but I want to eat. All right, here we go. I got a tropical IPA from Sierra Nevada. They didn't have any, any. There's, they only had fancy non-alcoholic drinks that are smoothies, but all the smoothies come with the dairy. dairy mixed into it. So I got a. I got ginger. Yeah. But I love a good IPA, and I got a whole pint. Look at you, Mister. Vacation, vacation mode. Even if we're just here for a little while longer, it feels good. Yeah. All right, so they've officially closed out the pool area now. The it's entire not just, pool area. It's not just out of the water, and now it's yeah. out of the area, which actually worked out because we really, we planned on leaving right now. So yeah. I just hope that. Those few moments of us getting our stuff ready before we had the elevator helps us beat the crowd of the entire pool. <laughs> to the elevator. To the elevator. Yeah. So we're going to head back up. I think we're going to go to Disney Springs. I mean, they're closing Ooh, because the of the weather coming in. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But Disney Ground's Springs. On fire. Yeah, it really is. Move. Taylor Swift is playing as we walk into Disney Springs and these two happy girls. Because they're on, they're, they not only got their Universal annual passes. But they're picking up the Walt Disney World annual passes today. <laughs> Live taste test. We convinced them to get the be bads because we, we love, love them. them. So. But we aren't eating honey at the moment. What's more like behind the We've scenes? We've had no water. coffee today, so this is good. I is made a, a coffee. Ooh. It is like a mint julep. Yeah. Yeah. It's so yummy. It's really good. Oh, I didn't hear you say that. It does taste like a mint julep. Yeah. It's really a good. Minty. Buy another one. Cheers. Another sip. Cheers. You better Amazon your Oh, Catherine, she wrote Catherine. That's okay. This is mine. Wow. Home. Oh, man. That looks comfy. What size is that? It's a medium. Is it so comfy? It's actually a little itchy. Now that I'm like actually like really thinking about it. But this is like, I'm looking for something like this exact style. When I saw it, I was like, just call me Jessica G in that, in that one video when she does like this with that song. Yeah. We can find it. Yeah. Good pick, Peter. Can I see my phone real quick? Yeah. I want to see if I have any rewards at a little place called Blaze. Oh, yes. Alright, so we got Blaze Pizza. We haven't been here in so, so long. This time we decided not to get any cheese on it. The last time that we got the vegan cheese, it kind of like coated our mouth. Um, so I'm really excited. We like really piled up on the vegetables. We'll show you when it gets here. This is mine. I got artichokes and tomatoes and spicy vegan chorizo. I went crazy. Spicy red sauce, spicy true vegan chorizo, spinach, banana peppers, jalapenos, artichoke, balsamic glaze, oregano. Delicious. Wow. And they got no cheese too. Just a ton of veggies. We went vegan. We got tomato, artichoke, banana peppers, basil, Katie got olives and green peppers. Sorry, I kind of got on it. And balsamic and olive oil. Love it. Time lapse time. We're leaving Blaze. We'll go that way, then we can go Sarah is struggling. So spicy. You only In a one. good way, like it was really good. Mine was spicy too, though, because I had spicy sauce and the spicy cherry stuff. True. Delicious, right? Really good. And you will eat another one. I'll have myself no, again. we haven't been in a while, so it was really nice. I have so much in my teeth right now, though. In the distance, you will see Megan and Katie basking in all the Disney merchandise glory. In the foreground, you will see Peter basking in this awesome version of the production. Power chair, Dumbo, teacups. Oh, but I've never seen that perfection, but I think this is still yeah. solid too, but that perfection. I want it. These jackets are out of control. Look at space, jungle crew, purple wall action, and fantasy land, and Luxo Ball. We were really hoping there was gonna be like Halloween merchandise, because the first party is literally Friday. And no luck, they're holding out on us. 
Oh, it was no. a creepy hatbox post, but look. No. That is very nice. Way. This dress is actually fun. It has the Sanderson sisters on the front over the potion with all the different icons oh, the of the, the villains. Oh, that's like the button we have. Yeah. This is what Eve needs. It's our one last treat of our little weekend getaway. I got a dessert cup, it's delicious. I got a vanilla cake with pineapple drizzled with pineapple glaze and I don't know where a fork is. Everybody's stopping dead in their tracks because there's a double rainbow. It's true. And the sky over here is insane. It is it it is the world telling Megan and Katie to stay. Oh. Sick. Sickly delicious. These two have become pass holders to the two major Orlando theme park areas, but they couldn't live another day without doing the most important thing in all of Central Florida. Go to Sugar Boo. For Sugar the first Boo. time ever, they're going to Sugar Boo and Co. with us. Let's the do it. The perfect way to go for the first time. <laughs> there they go. I'll Hi. see them tomorrow, because I am driving them to the airport. But I will not. But Peter will not. Love you. Love you. All right, we're back at the Daily Message. You know what that means. Today's message is from August 11th, who is by Thoreau. And Thoreau says, the price of anything is the amount of life you exchange for it. Oh, I love that. We're back home. Sarah just busted her chin on my shoulder. Are you okay? I'm okay. Um, Eve was very excited to see us. We were very excited to see her. She's amped, so She's hopefully amped. she'll chill, because guess who or didn't sleep very Three long and a half last hours last night? Yeah. And we had a very busy two days. And it just like felt good to like be in that state of mind. Yeah, you know? it was we a have lot the fun. cruise book, but we want to take time for ourselves so, before that too. So now we're back to figuring out a new apartment, figuring out fun stuff, figuring out my trip this week, playing with Eve all the time. She's getting a haircut tomorrow. Yeah, more on all of that. Yes. This week. Thank you, Megan and home. Katie, for yeah. letting us crash your little staycation or your little vacation mm -hmm. for our staycation and. It's good to be on. It's good to be on. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>